Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial which is dedicated to the installation of RQDA software on a Linux platform. So I decided to choose the, the Ubuntu distribution because it's uh, well, one of the, the well-known uh, Linux distribution. But if you are using a other distribution, uh, it will also uh, work. So RQDA is uh, actually working on all platforms and all distributions. So you should be able to do that on a other distribution uh, if you don't have Ubuntu. So, like on Windows and Mac, the installation uh, will be happening in three uh, steps. First one is to install Airbase. Second one is to install RStudio IDE, which is optional, but I recommend you to install it and, uh, and try it. And the last step is to install RQDA. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to open uh, a Linux distribution. So I will just start my VM in order to install uh, RQDA. Okay, so it will just take a couple of seconds in order to start. Okay, let's enter the password. And once you've opened your distribution, just open a terminal and then write sudo apt-get install rbase. Uh, by the way, if you cannot read uh, good enough uh, on the YouTube video, do not hesitate to change the setting of video in order to put the video on the best high definition. Uh, usually it should be 720p. So you just write sudo apt-get install rbase. You press enter. Then you enter your password. And you press enter and you are waiting until the installation is done. So by the way, uh, when you enter the password, you will not see any uh, characters, any stars or any anything. That's totally normal. It's a uh, kind of a unique security. So even if you see nothing when you are writing the password, actually you are writing the password. So, okay, so now I've installed it. And now I will just open uh, my browser in order to follow the second step, that's to say, to install our RStudio. So how to do that? Just go on google.com and then just write RStudio. Or if you want, just go to rstudio.org directly. Okay, so you just press on that button, download RStudio. And then you have choice between the server or the desktop version. I guess like me, you are just uh, at home uh, using a personal computer. So just click on that one. And uh, if, if it's not the case, uh, I guess uh, yourself uh, already know what you are doing if you download the, the server version. Basically, uh, just click on the desktop version and then you have many choices. And I recommend you to, to install the, the version that is recommended for your system. So as you can see, it's the version 0.96.304 uh, for Debian Ubuntu 10.04 uh, for 32 bytes. Uh, for sure, if you watch the video later, because this video was recorded the 22 of June 2012, if you watch it later, the version may have been uh, upgraded. Okay, so just press here and then I will just open it with the Ubuntu Logitech, so that would be easier. So I will just download. As you can see, downloading is quite fast. Okay, I will not put that video on pause because it's just six seconds to wait now. So it's quite fast as you can see. Server is going fast, so everything is nice. And usually 
I should have this one who opens alone because I asked Firefox to open the Ubuntu Logitech. And now, alone, uh, the software opens this uh, window. So they asked me to install RStudio. For sure, I want to install it. So I just press on install here. And maybe I have to enter my password as usual. And then uh, we have to wait until the installation will finish. Uh, by the way, uh, actually to use uh, our studio to, to, to install, I mean to use our studio, uh, and especially I, I want to say to, to use RQDA, sorry, RQDA, sorry, we need to uh, install the GTK. Uh, the GTK framework because uh, RQDA is a GUI application and a GUI application actually working with um, with GTK. So in order to do that, uh, I will just open a terminal and I will just write sudo apt-get install libgtk uh, to just have to remember GTK 2.0, uh, uh, the dev version, yeah, dev version would be enough. Okay, sudo apt-get install libgtk 2.0 slash dev. And then, okay. I cannot install it right now because I still need to wait that this is finished. Okay, because this was installing, the RStudio didn't finish to install, so I couldn't do it. But now, now I can do it. So, okay, so you cannot do it at the same time for sure. I was thinking that the RStudio was finished, but when I asked the console to install, uh, GTK was, uh, RStudio didn't finish to install. So now it's okay. So do one thing at the same time for sure. Okay, so now it has been uh, installed. Uh, so, okay, we've installed our base, our studio, GTK, and now we'll just uh, install, uh, just open first our studio. So as you can see, if you press our studio here, you will see our studio. And then, as you can see, our studio opens perfectly uh, good on uh, Ubuntu. Last step, step number three, was to install our RQDA. So you just go here. Uh, maybe uh, it depends on uh, what you have done before with your computer. But maybe before to, to when you click on install package, uh, for the first time you will uh, see a Windows asking you in which country you want to download uh, uh, the package from. Because actually uh, there is uh, many countries and you will have to choose uh, the country uh, in which you are or the country in which uh, you stay the nearest in order to download as fast as possible any packages. So now I write RQDA, I just have to write RQ and then a box suggests me to install RQDA. This is perfect, I just click on OK. And very, very important, uh, this box install dependency as to be checked because actually RQDA needs a lot of stuff such as uh, uh, SQLite for, for R and other packages. So uh, you need to, to, to let this box, uh, this box has to be checked. And then you write, you click on install. And then you will have to wait until the installation is uh, finished. So just when all the message will uh, stop to move and when you will see a arrow, uh, the arrow under, it will mean that the installation uh, is finished. So I will just pause this video because you have to be aware that it may take a long time until the installation uh, is done. Actually, it depends on your your processor and many other settings. So I will just pause the video. Okay, so once the installation is finished, you can see uh, this blue arrow and uh, the text uh, 
moving here, the cursor moving, though, so that means that the installation is finished. And to open RQDA, just go uh, on package here and check RQDA. Then just wait a couple of seconds. And then the RQDA uh, software should open. Okay, so it opened here. So, okay, this is RQDA. Uh, by the way, if you are a Linux user, you are quite a happy user because uh, I think that RQDA is looking quite nice uh, on, on Linux this because uh, GTK package is quite uh, well done on, uh, on Linux. So there is a, a degraded, degrade, I don't know how to say, and uh, it's quite nice. So basically, this is uh, this is the the RQDA software. On the other video, I will explain uh, how to use it. Um, I don't know if I will. Uh, I think I will. Uh, I will go for Windows. So I will. I will. I will explain everything on Windows. But if you are on Linux or Mac, you can follow me on the other video because the usage is exactly the same on Windows or Linux uh, and so on. Uh, I will just uh, close uh, RQDA. Just clicking here are you sure you want to close yes i'm sure and then i, I will close that one too uh, that one too that one too uh, i don't need it anymore this one too so every time now when you want to open rqda just go on uh, on on this and write r studio so first step is to open r studio and second step is just to check on rqda and then just wait a couple of seconds and the GUI application will just open. So as you can see, just the, the first installation may be quite tough, but after it's very easy, just open uh, RStudio and then check RQDA uh, on the list. And then you can open new project, create new project and so on. So I invite you to follow the next video in order to know uh, how to use uh, RQDA application. Uh, thanks a lot uh, to watch this video. And if you have any questions, suggestion or something else, do not hesitate to leave a comment or even if you wish to send me an email to my address, kaliskanmetin at gmail.com. Cheers.